Hello everyone, Fengar here from Bioformation. Today I'm back with another video. Um, today we're reviewing Lego set whatever, 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 uh, Fire Lord from Lego Hero Factory, The Ordeal of Fire. Um, yeah, this is the first wave, I believe, ever in Lego history to use the CCBS system. Of course, me and Rick's favorite building system, and probably most of you guys' favorite building system since, well, you watch this channel, and um, hopefully you are subscribed, and if you're not, then uh, subscribe and leave like, because we need subscriptions and likes, because else I cannot live. No, but in all seriousness, um, if you are a subscriber or a casual watcher of this channel, I assume you like CCBS because, well, we are a CCBS channel, mostly. Um, but uh, this is uh, f the first big Titan set that is ever built with CCBS. And Lego did not really pull it off. Um, as you can see, it's very gappy. Um, I don't really like that, but... We'll just get into the actual review right now. We'll do the thoughts later. So Fire Lord um, is a pretty tall figure. Comparing him to a minifigure, we have Vernon Dursley here. Yeah, look how look how big it is. He's a big boy. He's like the Godzilla of this universe. Um, I don't have a 2.0 hero. I don't have any 2.0 heroes. I do have a 1.0 hero, uh, hero, but he's missing his hero core. That's for no... Uh, once I get that hero core, I'll do a review on him, but yeah. Um, weapons. He has a ball shooter, which if you squeeze in this, the ball just comes out. And uh, disclaimer, disclaimer, this is not the actual ball you get in this set. The one is supposed to be marbled with fire and fire, so yeah. Um, but my seller gave me this ball for whatever reason. Uh, don't really mind it, because I have a lot of those fire balls from the fire chi temple. But the legs, all right, and the legs are uh, bone pieces. They're just bone pieces. They're the longest bone piece in orange and black. Both colors they did not have before. Even if I bricklink them, I, I even on the bricklink uh, hall I did not get them. So that's pretty nice. But I mainly wanted the set because of the orange bone pieces. I really wanted those orange bone pieces and the silver chest plate. But the leg design itself is pretty bad. Um. There's also red bones in here, which I really love. They're like, yeah, there's three different colors of bones in here. Well, black is pretty common, but the other two aren't really that common. So that's pretty nice. And um, type six in gunmetal gray, never seen those before, which is nice. Type fives in gunmetal gray, which I have seen them in that color, I believe, but with, with printing. So yeah. And speaking of that, those are actually the foot. Um, and the foot is literally a yeah, thing. It's just these Glatorian necks with a Type 5 and old hand pieces, but in the CCBS sockets. And those are attached to these bones, and that makes the legs. And they are pretty stable. Let's plop them down. He does stand. So, um, yeah. Let's just plop them down. Yeah, he stands. He's pretty stable. Um... The arms, um, I did show the weapon before, so let's do the second weapon. Uh, it's one of these, I believe this is the chest blade on Titan Takanuva and the shield or whatever on some Glatorian sets. But I don't know where this piece originally came from, but I think Jang said once that this came from Titan Takanuva, so we'll just go with that. And if I'm incorrect, then please leave your hate comments in the comments down below. Uh, and these pieces are from Ferno 1.0, or just the first Ferno, I believe. I have now four of these, so that's pretty cool. Like, one week ago, I didn't even have one, and now I have four, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna use that for Mox, probably. For uh, Maybe I can use this in Ignis, the set and mock I reviewed a few weeks ago, or a few days ago. Last week, or whatever, I'm uploading this. But that ice, sh or ice shield, that fire shield claw thing is just attached to the bone piece, like... I think you can probably see it, and yes, this guy includes two hands. Wish those were orange instead of silver, but I mean, this doesn't look too bad. And the upper arm design is just another one of those l s just another one of those middle long bone pieces with some parts in it, and those are attached to uh something on the back like this neck. Um, and on top of those arms are these fire armor pieces. 
Speaking of armor, um, this set only comes unfortunately with one of these, which is pretty crappy. I hate it when CCBS sets don't come with uh, an even amount of the same armor piece or bone piece, but yeah, just nothing we can do about it. Um, the back of the figure is pretty nice. It has, once again, ball, ball to ball adapters or sockets. Yeah, ball to ball sockets. Just two so What the fuck am I talking about? This is a socket socket bone piece. Yeah. Um, I do have them in red, as you saw in the latest Bricklink haul, as uh, me recording this video. Um, but I think in black, this doesn't look too bad. Maybe they could have done them in orange. And you can see these uh, Baraki necks are pretty terrible condition, but that's because they yellowed. So I need to replace those parts. And in the back, he has a backpack, or a jetpack, I mean, with flames coming out of them, which is, I guess, kind of nice. And then you can see there's a face there. We'll just flop off the head. And that's something I can really be annoyed with. That's because this is Drilldozer's face. And this is Fire Lord's face. Yeah. They also did this with Jet Pug, Jet Bug, and Nitro Blast, which we have filmed a review on Nitro Blast, but we never uploaded it. Um, and something else that's pretty weird is seeing the old socket design being uh, used with the new socket design. It's mostly something you see in mocks, but yeah, it's here. And then these knives are here as some kind of weird horns. And this is the Glatorian head. And I believe this is the correct face. Um, then all you have to talk about is the torso, which has these silver armor pieces. I didn't know those existed. Um, I also didn't know the these parts existed, but apparently they do. And as you can see, I did also not know that there were orange torsos, but apparently they are. They are, there are, Jesus. Um, and then that just attaches to the silver uh, breast pl breastplate. Um, but yeah, putting the figure all back together and making him stand correctly. This is Fire Lord, the first official Lego CCBS Titan. Um, and yeah, if I have to be honest, this is not the best set, but it's pretty good for parts, so if you're looking for uh, something with fiery parts, then I suggest buying this set. But if you're not looking for those parts, but you like to build in orange or in red, then I would still suggest this set. But if you don't really like those colors and you don't build with them, I just suggest to have this set because of it's a big part of CCBS history. So yeah, but would I recommend this set if you're not a Hero Factory fan? No. Because this is not what Hero Factory is. Hero Factory is something better than this. Um, of course, it doesn't compare to Bionicle. But um, if this is your first Hero Factory set, I would not, I would not be mad at you for hating this theme. Because this is not the best set. I mean, this the Hero Factory sets mostly got good around Brain Attack, Breakout, and Invasion from Below. But yeah, I just like having this set for the bone pieces. I'm gonna take this boy apart now. Thanks for watching. If you like, leave a like, maybe just subscribing. And I don't know what the fuck that outro was, but in all fairness, I don't know what my whole life is. But um, uh, hope to see you in the next video. Good. Bye.